Keshet sitcom Arab Labour is returning to Channel 2 for a third season, hot of the heels of winning all the major awards at the Israeli Emmy Awards. So we joined the people of the show at their premiere party to find out how a show about Arabs and Jews living together in the same building has become the number one sitcom on Israeli prime time. <laughs> The Palestinian journalist and the creator of Arab labor, Saya Kashua, admits he based the show about his personal experiences, but he hopes he's not as neurotic as his alter ego, Amjad. I based the show on my own uh, private experience sometimes, but I'm, but, but I'm not trying to tell the truth about myself. To be honest, I'm not sure what is the truth <laughs> yet about myself. But, but yes, it, it deals with, with Amjad. Uh, as an, an Arab Palestinian journalist in an in, uh, in Israeli newspaper, just like myself, or at least he used to be. He's married to a psychotherapist just like me, and, <laughs> and uh, the whole show is about uh, the pregnancy, the very difficult uh, pregnancy of Bushra, his wife, just like we had with uh, our little baby last year. So, so yes, but I'm not sure that, I, I hope I'm not that neurotic like Amjad in the show. Although my wife, when she walks it, she said it's exactly you. But I, th I think I'm, I'm a little bit smarter than the actor and I, I'm a little bit more handsome than him. <laughs> Norman Issa, who portrays the title character Amjad, admits viewers were hesitant to embrace the show initially because they were afraid to look at themselves closely. In the beginning, uh, people don't like it uh, very, very well because uh, it spoke about themselves, something like this. And after that, uh, start, uh, they start to understand that uh, this is a comedy sitcom, this is a TV show, and it's not a documentary. And uh, why it's so successful? I think because uh, the both uh, Jewish and Arab afraid from each other. So uh, this serial make them not afraid and to uh, uh, get into the game without afraid, without... Uh, um, um, say something bad or something there. So and and about comedy, it's very easy to get um, to these people by comedy, and not by uh, facing them uh, about um, a fact or something. Veteran actor Salim Dao, who portrays the very comedic Abu Amjad on the show, admits fan reactions on the Jewish and Palestinian sides were very different. The first uh, season. Some Arabs they didn't like the show. They say to me, Arabs, that we 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 show the Arabs in, in, in very bad situation. I thought and I think now they are wrong. In the Jewish side, they told me many times one thing very interesting. If we think a little bit we can learn, we can learn how, how to be together, how to, to live together, because we don't have any choice. For that, we, we have to, to be clever, so clever and so sensitive to, to understand. And in the show, we see that it, it, it's possible. Why we don't do it uh, in, in our life? Even though the Palestinian actors in the show seem skeptical about the influence of the show, with 30% average rating per episode, there's no doubt the show captures all sides of the Israeli audience. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Arab Labor premiere party at the Paris Peace House in Jaffa.